Hey guys, it's Ravenhawk6910 reporting once again. In this review, we're going to take a look at the brand new Scale Trains Museum Quality Southern Pacific EMD SD45X. First up though, it is disclaimer time. The pros and cons in this review are not reflections of my personal opinion. They attempt to be objective in nature and as such are either community opinions or facts about the model that I can represent on camera. So please don't assume anything in this video is my personal opinion unless I state so otherwise. Additionally, it's important to note that I do not speak on behalf of scale trains and am not endorsed by any company. I'm an independent reviewer and the work I do does not reflect the thoughts of any companies in question. Got it? Get it? Good. All right, let's go ahead and get started. EMD's SD45 could arguably be called the first big power diesel locomotive, cranking out 3600 horsepower from a 20 cylinder 645 prime mover. However, EMD wanted to take it a step further and developed the experimental SD45X in 1970. The units, seven in total and all built for the Southern Pacific, put out an unheard of 4200 horsepower from their 645 E3A prime movers and helped lay the groundwork for other higher horsepower units to come in the future. The SD45X was announced as the third museum quality locomotive from scale trains in August of 2023 and were delivered the following year in September of 2024. The models come in both DCC ready and ESU lock sound DCC and sound on board equipped models. The details on the locomotive are standard for the rivet counter style of locomotives from scale trains. My personal favorite things about this unit is the addition of the fourth fan on the radiator section and the flat rear end of the car body, which is something typically only seen on EMD passenger SD locomotives. There's also an additional snow plow on the back of the unit, which is a nice touch. Another detail is the rust colored wheels on the trucks. Next to them you can see the little metal bars which activate the frog clank sound effect on the units, something exclusive to the museum quality line. All units feature LED lighting which include the headlight on function zero, Mars light on function 6, and the color changing class lights on function 5, which cycle from white, green, red, and off. Also on function 15 is the SP style UDE or undesired emergency light. Hitting this turns off all lights and activates the red light on the nose. The cab light and control stand lights are also museum quality features seen previously on the SDL 39 and the Big Blow Turbine. All right, let's go ahead and start the 9503 up and listen to some of the sounds. Here's the startup sequence. Here's the horn and the bell. All right, let's go ahead and roll it out. Ah! 
Well, that just about wraps up the SD45X. This is a great model and one that I'm happy to add to my small Southern Pacific fleet. If you're interested in purchasing one of these units, they retail for an MSRP of $379.99 for DCC and sound models and $279.99 for straight DC models. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next review. This is Ravenhawk6910, signing off.